today I wanted to talk about my new rain gear that I found on High Viz Supply. This is made by Tough Duck, that's D-U-C-K, and I'm really impressed with the quality and the uh, industrial usage of this. Uh, this is High Viz, High Visibility rain gear uh, for working outside, uh, obviously uh, I work outside, I work in the snow, I work in the wind, rain, sun, whatever needs to be. And uh, up here in the Seattle area, it gets pretty rainy during the winter time. And uh, that's gonna start probably around November and uh, last until April or May. So I need something that's gonna hold up. And my uh, other rain suit that I've had for many years was starting to degrade after many wash cycles. So decided to upgrade and uh, came across this Tough Duck brand. They're uh, made in Canada. They have uh, great reviews. I couldn't find any YouTube videos on this particular stuff. Uh, all I could really find was a regular uh, brown, like for going out hunting and hiking and stuff like that. So this is the reason I'm making this uh, video for this workwear, uh, industrial grade uh, ripstop rain suit. So I got the uh, bibs obviously with the uh, high viz legging i got them in black because being a mechanic i work with a lot of grease i get dirty so anything with bright yellow or bright green is going to get just filthy and i thought maybe uh, black would be a little better looking over time uh, but still have the high viz part so i can still be seen when i need to be seen so i got uh, extra large in both sizes uh, the, for the top and the bottom. Uh, this says that it's a 100% polyester shell. Uh, I believe that this is the minimum because I'm not working out on a street with cars moving around me. I don't need uh, level three or higher or whatever else there is out there. I don't need the maximum. I just need something so I can be seen uh, by the personnel on the location that I'm working on. So, like I said, this is a 300D ripstop. And as you can see here on the inside, they have everything uh, double stitched, welded, uh, waterproof seams on the inside. This fabric is pretty tough. It feels like canvas. I can run my nails over it. You can hear that, it's pretty uh, durable. It has lots of pockets. Um, I'll try this on. Now I'm, well, six foot with shoes on, 5'11 without shoes on. And I'm about 225 pounds. And I, like I said, I got the extra large. Now when I got the extra large, I did have to adjust these straps all the way back as tight as they can go because it was a little loose over my shoulders when I first tried it on. And with it adjusted all the way back, it feels just right. So there, I got a little bit of room left for them cold winter days when I have to wear a sweatshirt something like that up underneath here. I have a little bit of expansion room, you know, or right after Thanksgiving, you gotta have a little bit of expansion room there, you know, anyhow. They got these pockets on the sides here. That's handy to keep stuff in. I got another one over here. We got back pockets. They are, uh, welded, uh, sewed in place. The flaps, they're not Velcro or nothing, they're just sewed in place. But back pocket there for wrenches or whatever. Another one back over here. No, I don't have one on this side. I only have one back pocket. One back pocket over here. The legs, Velcro, and then they have a zipper. So that you can get in and out easy with your boots on. Zip everything up, zip everything down. There you go, from the leg up. 
Scotch light 3M reflective material right there. They feel very comfortable. They're not heavy. They're not bulky. I like them. They're real comfortable. And the model number on this one is SB04. And I got these from highvizsupply.com. I think they're based out of Florida. I also paired it with this jacket. This part number or model number is SJ28. Also from Tough Duck. Also a black level one reflective uh, jacket. This jacket is an extra large. It may look a little bulky on me. Comes past my hands, but I like it like that. I don't want it too tight because remember during the winter time, I can wear sweatshirts and layers up underneath this if I'm working out in the snow. So I don't want anything that's gonna be too tight because then I can't do that. I can't wear my layers. I also didn't want to get a parka uh, reflective jacket. Um, I, I want something that I can wear in the, the warmer days when it's just raining. And this is lightweight enough and breathable enough that uh, I can do that. So this jacket has, by the way, this is the same material. It's that ripstop, 300D polyester ripstop, fabric, waterproof. They have one pocket here on the chest it has like a waterproof membrane welded around it. And I can stick my hand in that far, almost to my wrist. So that's a pretty deep pocket. It goes almost back over here to the armpit area. I have another one of these. And you'll notice that these have a covered zipper. The zipper's covered up right there. And get that zipper down there. Got a pretty good little pocket here. You put maybe a little uh, notebook or a cell phone or something, a smaller cell phone maybe, uh, can fit in here. It's a good little rectangle, it measures about that long. It's about what, four, four and a half inches, something like that. Maybe two and a half inches wide, looks like. Got reflective material here, got reflective material here. We have a, a stretchy cuff. We have an adjustable band here that we can put on this other latch snugs it up a little bit around the wrist. Same thing on this side, obviously. We got reflective, reflective. We have another pocket here with a flat cover over it. This pocket is pretty big. Also goes almost all the way to my wrist. So there's my fingertips over here by my armpit. Pretty big pocket there. On the inside, these bibs. The bib also has a big pocket right here in the front. You can put your wrenches or your Teflon tape or uh, your solder or whatever you're working with. On the inside here, we have one open pocket that we can just slip stuff down into it. That'd be good for a cell phone, maybe you know, earphones or something like that. We have a huge, what is this? Well, that goes all the way is that a pocket? I don't know if that's a pocket. I mean, I don't know what I would put in there. Jesus Christ. It goes way, way down there. I'm not real sure why they didn't put that in there. I mean, I'm not going to be carrying a laptop or a tablet around. Damn, that's a big pocket. Anyhow, down here on the bottom, we have another zipper pocket. It's about... I'll say six inches or so, about from my wrist to my fingertips. That's a pretty big chunking pocket right there. On the other side here, we have one Velcro pocket that we can put some stuff in there. That's it on this side. We have zippers. For some reason, I'm not, I haven't figured this one out yet. They have zippers here so you can split the side. I don't know if that's to help you get it on over layers or what that's for. I haven't figured that one out yet. I've never seen that before. Uh, the jacket itself has two big Velcro pockets on the front. 
Ah, this jacket comes with replacement buttons. We got the little snap button parts and pieces here with a little clear disc so that if one ever pops off, hopefully they don't. But if they do, then I guess I'll have to find wherever the hell I put that bag of parts then, huh? That could be five years down the road and they'll be lost by then. So we got one big pocket on the bottom here. We got that zippered pocket here that I told you all about right there. And we got that big pocket down here on the bottom. We got another zipper on this side that we can split it apart. This thing is just built with features. Let me zip that back down. Now, this thing has two zippers. You'll see here, there's an inner zipper that stops right here. And then there's an outer zipper that goes all the way to the top. The inner zipper, the zipper is on this side, on your left side. The outer zipper, the zipper part, is on your right side, right there, okay? So, if I zip up the inner zipper by itself, it feels awkward because it's on the opposite side. I have to be careful not to get my beard caught in there. I did that the first time, it hurt like a son of a thing. So there's the first zipper, it goes up to there. Then I guess you could close it off and you know, button it up just like that. But if you wanted to use the second zipper, the outer zipper, let me get that one started. Here. Then I guess that one could go all the way up over your chin. Keep your chin warm. Keep the rain out during a rainstorm, you know. So you have options. This can button close up here on the top like that. Cover up your, you can cover up your mouth and all that good stuff, you know. Keep your muzzle nice and warm. So, I'm gonna show you the back of the, of the jacket. Again, here's what it looks like from the front. You got the pocket here, I'm gonna zip up. I'm gonna turn around. It has a long tail, so when you go to bend over to pick up your parts, it doesn't show you being a plumber, it shows you being covered up. Nothing's going to go peekaboo whenever you go to bend over to pick your parts or your tools, so that's nice. I like to have that. Also, whenever you go to bend over to pick something up off the ground, rain's not going to run down your, your rain pants, you know. So. There's the inside of the jacket. It's nice and smooth. It has this, what they call taffeta lining. It's like the lining of a nice jacket or a windbreaker or something like that that you would wear for personal use. You know, real nice and smooth, kind of a silky feeling. So we have a hood that can go over a hard hat. I'm not gonna try it right now. My hard hat's in the truck, but I'm not gonna go get it out. It pops on and off with buttons. And then if I take it all the way off, like that. So if you want it to go higher, you can snap it to the upper buttons. And if you want it lower, I suppose you would snap it to the lower set of buttons. So let me get this buttoned on here. Put that on the higher set here. Maybe that's the where it can go over a hard hat. And the, up, the lower set of buttons would be where it's a little more snug on the head. You know what I mean? So if you want to go over a hard hat, you need a little bit more room. There. Y'all can see the second set of buttons. There's a lower set right here. And I have it on the higher set. There's the upper set and the lower set. Right there. Right there. And right there. So, with this jacket on and the hood in place nice big old hood plenty of room i could probably wear a hard hat i don't know if i could get my my i wear a full brim hard hat i don't just wear one of them hard hats with a little thing on the front 
I wear a full brim. I don't want rain getting down my ears and shit. So that's what it looks like right there. I like it. I think it's well built. I think it's durable. Uh, I hope the waterproofness lasts. I don't know why it wouldn't, but we shall see. I suppose they have a little loop on the inside of the neck here. You could hang this up on a hook right above the label, or you can buckle it around something, I guess, if you wanted to. But other than that, folks, that's about it. Um, I think this jacket, oh, what did I pay for this jacket? It was about 100, was it 111? I think so. I think it was $111 for this high vis jacket. But this is a really, really, really nice jacket. I am super happy about it. And that's why I'm making this video uh, to let other people know what the what to expect uh, if you go with the tough duck route i'll be down look i even got a pocket on the inside i don't know if i mentioned that earlier but there's a pocket on the inside of the bibs right here on the inside and a velcro flap pocket on the outside i'm loving all these pockets these are great my other suit didn't have any pockets well it didn't it had uh, two pockets on the front on the lower end but Oh, that reminded me. Another thing about this jacket that I found out when I tried it on. Let me tilt, tilt this down right here. So I said you have these, these pockets here, and you have that pocket up here on the top too. You also have regular old jacket pockets. I thought you had jacket pockets. Here they are. Yeah. You can stick your hands in there, and you can have a hand warmer in there. And uh, you can keep your hands warm without having to open that dang flap every time and letting the rain get down in there, you know. You want to keep the rain out of your pocket. You don't want to stick your hand in the pocket like that. You just stick your hand through the back side right there. There's too many pockets on the jacket, but I'm loving it. Where is it? There it is. Okay. There we go. Got my hands in the jacket pocket there. Got my hand warmers in there if, I, if it was real cold outside, nice and toasty. Got my sweatshirt on underneath this so I can layer up and have my thermals on. I can peel layers off if I get hot, something like that. But this is a heavy duty feeling jacket. I'm real happy with it. I hope y'all will be too if you pick one up. Um, like I said, I got mine at high-bizsupply.com. All right, folks, well, that's all. I just wanted to uh, get a video of this thing on YouTube, the top and bottom. They're sold separately, by the way. They don't come in a set. So I paid for the bibs at the time of making this video. Uh, I think they were about 70, no, what were they? 50 something dollars for the bibs, I think, 58, maybe. I'm not really sure, I'd have to look. They were pricey. I'm not going to lie, they were pretty pricey, but I think that they're well built and I think they're durable. And like I said, I work outside industrial work, so I need something that's going to protect me and that's something that's going to last for a long time. Anywho, I hope you all enjoy the video and uh, see you all next time. Take care.